Good morning, Pre-K. Let's continue on with Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. We are in chapter nine. And when we stopped, oh, Alice had just had a very, very, very crazy afternoon playing croquet with the queen. And so now we're going to see what happens next. The mock turtle story. What do you think a mock turtle is? Hmm? Usually when you hear mock, it means that it's a fake or somewhat like something, but not really the real thing. So maybe this isn't a real turtle. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm so glad to see you again, said the Duchess as she tucked her arm into Alice's and they walked off together. Alice was very glad to see she was in a good mood and thought to herself that it was the pepper that had made her seem so mean when they met in the kitchen. If you'll remember that. She, they met in the kitchen at the house and she was quite grumpy. You're thinking about something, said the Duchess, and that makes you forget to talk. I can't tell you just now what the moral of it, of that is, but I remember it, I'll remember it in a bit. Maybe it doesn't have a moral, said Alice. Tut, tut, child, said the Duchess, everything has a moral. And she squeezed closer to Alice's side. Alice did not like being so close to her. The Duchess was very ugly, and she rested her chin right on Alice's shoulder. And it was a very pointy chin. Alice did not want to be rude, so she put up with the pain as best she could. The game is going much better now, Alice managed to say. Yes, it is, said the Duchess, and the moral of that is, Oh, tis love, tis love that makes the world go round. Somebody said, Alice whispered, that it's done by everybody minding their own business. Ah, oh, well, it means much the same thing, said the Duchess. And the moral of that is take care of the sense and the sounds will take care of themselves. Hmm, how fond she is of finding morals and things, Alice thought to herself. I'm sure you're wondering why I don't put my arm around your waist, said the Duchess. The reason is that I'm worried about the temper of your flamingo. Should I try? He might bite, Alice replied. So here's Alice, she's still holding her flamingo from the croquet game. And here's the very odd looking Duchess with the pointy chin on her shoulder. And Alice just meets the strangest people, doesn't she? He might bite, Alice said. Very true, said the Duchess. Flamingos and mustard both bite. And the moral of that is birds of a feather flock together. Only mustard isn't a bird, Alice remarked. Hmm. Right as usual, said the Duchess. What a clear way you have of putting things. This is just the silliest conversation you've ever heard. <sighs> it's a mineral, I think. Of course it is, said the Duchess. There's a large mustard mine near me. And the moral of that is, the more there is of mine, the less there is of yours. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, I know, exclaimed Alice, who didn't really hear her last remark. Mustard is a vegetable. Thinking again, the Duchess asked with another dig of her pointy little chin into Alice's shoulder. I have a right to think, said Alice sharply, for she was beginning to feel a little uncomfortable. Of course, said the Duchess, just about as much right as pigs have to fly. And the more the Duchess voice died away, and her arm that was linked with Alice's began to tremble. Alice looked up and there stood the queen in front of them with her arms folded, frowning. A fine day, your majesty, the duchess began in a low, weak voice. I'm warning you.
time you shouted the queen, either you or your head must be off. It's your choice. The duchess made her choice and was gone in no time. Hmm. Okay, here's a big picture of the queen. She's got her flamingo. And Alice is still holding hers and the queen is telling the duchess off with your head or off with you. Of course, the Duchess laughed. Let's go on with the game, the Queen said to Alice. Alice was much too frightened to say a word, so she slowly followed the Queen back to the croquet ground. The other guests were resting in the shade, but the moment they saw the Queen, they hurried back to the game. The whole time they were playing, the queen never stopped arguing with the other players and shouting off with his head or off with her head. And after a while, the soldiers, who had to stop being arches, had taken away all the players to be executed except for the king and queen and Alice. Then the queen said to Alice, Have you seen the mock turtle yet? No, said Alice. I don't even know what a mock turtle is. It's the thing mock turtle soup is made from, said the queen. Hmm. Never saw one or heard of one, said Alice. Come on then, said the queen, and he shall tell you his story. And as they walked off together, Alice heard the king say in a very low voice to everyone, you are all pardoned. And off they go. So, we're going to stop there for today because there's quite a bit more in this chapter. And we'll find out about the mock turtle. But from what I can figure out, I guess the queen tells everybody off with their head. But they don't really off their heads. The king comes along and says, you're pardoned. It's okay. But she just likes to say that. And I'd say she's very disagreeable, wouldn't you? Well, I hope you're not disagreeable. I hope you're feeling very agreeable and that you have a very good day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.